Hey, thanks for joining me on this week's Team Culture. So I was reading a news article online about super volcanoes in Yellowstone National Park. So a group of NASA scientists were getting together trying to figure out how to defend you and me from asteroids and, and comets um, colliding with the Earth and things like that. That's a true story. That's what they were meeting about. Turns out they found the bigger threat was a super volcano right here on Earth. So in Yellowstone National Park, apparently this volcano has 250 billion kilometers worth of molten magma underneath. So, I mean, I'm thinking it's NASA, smart guys, we're sitting around worried about a volcano. How bad can it be? Okay, so I spoke prematurely, there is a large problem. But the group of NASA scientists have figured it out because they went and asked some other scientists to fix the problem. Here's what happens. The magma is too hot, and when it becomes too hot, it moves very easily. It becomes thin, and it goes through all these fissures and cracks, and it rises to the surface. That's what happens. A super volcano basically collapses in itself, and then, you know, it explodes everywhere. So what they need to do is they need to cool that magma by about 35%. Now, what's going on down there? Because when they cool it, it does, it's sticky. It becomes uh, thick. It doesn't flow very well, and it stays in its spot. I should clear that up for you. So here's what goes on. Down below where that magma reservoir is, there's already a pool of water that cools the magma by about 60 70%. That's called hydrothermal water, and it is superheated. Note, watch our uh, link here because we did uh, we did a steam culture on geothermal heating and superheated water and all that, so you can do the homework on that. That pool of water is responsible for Old Faithful and those, all those heated pools and other geysers that you see in the national parks. But if they cooled that water even more, they could extract more heat from the magma, cool it down, and then it wouldn't flow to the top and it would stay home. Now, here's where the steam culture comes in. What's it got to do with steam? They want to drill a pipe down there into that superheated water add even cooler water to cool the magma. That's how they're gonna bring the temperature down. But what's gonna happen is they're gonna produce a ton of steam out of that. Well, they wanna capture the steam, bring it up to the top, and run it through a steam turbine and create electricity for you and me so you can power up your computer and watch steam culture. See how it did that? Super volcano! Steam culture. I made the connection for you, just like I do every week. So, maybe you knew about super volcanoes because you're a nerd. Maybe you did because you were smart, but you do now because you watched this steam culture episode on super volcanoes. Go out and Google it, super volcano. Google us because we have content for you each and every week. Thanks for joining me. I will see you next week.